First, though, out-of-body experiences, are they all in the mind? A new scientific study reckons they are. People who claim to have had some kind of spiritual experience, are they floating towards a bright light or leaving their body behind as they fly around the room, are kidding themselves. You are simply um, confused. That's a nice way of saying... <laughs> 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 uh, scientists uh, used virtual reality visors to trick the brains of volunteers into believing temporarily they'd occupied a 3D-generated character. The volunteers became so immersed in their computer-generated world they came to think of their cyber body as their own. Their senses of touch and vision became disassociated to the extent that they reported having out-of-body experiences and even to feeling less pain. I love it, they heard their voices, someone smacking them on the back of the head. Uh, the Swiss uh, neuroscientist behind the study, Professor Olaf Blank, uh, says the experiments prove out-of-body experiences are nothing more than temporary glitches in our perception. Now, Michael, you had a big car smash, you were telling us earlier. Yeah. Did you have... Did you meet a bright light? No, I didn't meet a bright light, but because I, I was in intensive care, the first time I woke up, I had an oxygen mask on, and literally, around my bed, was every woman I'd loved. <laughs> Big bed, small bed. <laughs> and there was, well, there was a couple there on the slide that no-one knew about. Um, <laughs> and I thought I was dead. I, I did that. Oh. And it's only because Sally made a noise, and um, Sally's... I've known since school, we've been together 23 years now, and our relationship started after my accident. Um, and it was only when she spoke, and I actually... I said, can you be quiet? And she went, oh, sorry, she was just moving some fruit or something. And it was, it was the strangest not quite knowing where I was, because the, the, my last time of being awake, I knew I was in the car, saw the dash go. Um, that was melting because it was on fire. And I looked down and my legs were in the back seat. Uh, and I thought, I'm just not oh. going to get out of this. Spare um, me the details. Spare oh, me the details. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, it was, well, what, and also, the, as you're wheeling you in, they're talking to you, Michael, what, we're going to do this. And I remember them, they cut your clothes off. And the guy was trying to cut my... I said, this costs 300 pounds. Oh, Armani, what are you... <laughs> and my mum had watched me through my teens wearing dodgy Rolex watches. And so for my 30th birthday, she must have been saving up for a lifetime, lover. She bought me a Rolex watch. And, they're going, and, they, and I went, and that's a Rolex. If it goes missing, I'll have you all. <laughs> <laughs> now, Steve-O, do you think people with out-of-body experiences are... Uh, oh, well, how can I put this? Uh, Jeremy Kyle views. I don't think they're, they're kind of mental, but I think <laughs> it is amazing <laughs> the, the tricks that thinking. the mind can play. I mean, yes. I, I, weirdly, when I'm, if, if I'm in a run of something, when I was doing a play last year, it's amazing with the repetition. Well, you kind of go onto autopilot. You know what this is like? Is that yeah. you're not absolutely concentrating all the time, and you feel you can see yourself looking down at yourself almost, and you're going, "Listen to you, you're just talking rubbish. It's an awful performance. You just, you know, it's like, and and it is odd that you can almost be in two places okay. at one yeah, time. Yeah, I can follow that. And I think I think in moments of of strangeness, like a near-death experience. I mean, unfortunately, you know, I'm so dull. When I nearly had a near-death experience, my whole life flashed before my eyes, but I wasn't even in it. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm here all week, Fox. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Liz? I... No, no. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, no, I've never had anything like that, and I don't... I mean, I guess meditating, but, you know, you sort of feel you have to... You have to be the light above your body and yeah. look down on yourself yeah, yeah. and all that. So I think I get that, and I Can love meditating. That? Yeah, I love it. Yeah. I love it. But I wouldn't, you know, well, nothing's ever happened. I remember to you like meeting that. Bambi when I was at university, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> <laughs> Bambi <laughs> works at Stringfellows. Sat doesn't across she? my bed. Hi, yeah. Bambi. She works at Stringfellows, doesn't she? <laughs> 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 I wouldn't know, Steve. I wouldn't know. <laughs> what do people at home have to say? Uh, first, Jess? we have Todd on line one. <laughs> Morning, Todd. Good morning. Uh, have you had an out-of-body experience, sir? Oh, I'd say I've had hundreds of conscious out-of-body experiences, and I now actually teach uh, other people how to induce the out-of-body state. So th these scientists, uh, Dr. Olaf Blank, he says you're nuts. Well, that's fine. I think um, one thing I would agree with the scientists, I think it's you know, very important to, you know, with, with validation. And I think, you know, to, to validate the out-of-body state, you know, it's, it's something that comes through direct experience, and it's something that I really like to impress on people is that, you know, having one out-of-body experience, especially if you're actually self-inducing the state, you know, it doesn't validate that, you know, you are more than your physical body. I think, okay, okay. you know, it takes much more than that. How does one induce um, um, an out-of-body experience? I don't know how you would do that. Is it meditating? Is that what you mean? Meditation is a great um, LSD. Sort of starting point for, for getting... <laughs> DMT? That's <laughs> correct. 
a dodgy travel agent, you Dod go, you are now going to... <laughs> Those, you think about the, co the cosmonauts... Are you feeling the sun? <laughs> the cosmonauts in Russia, Russia yeah. are currently in a, they're playing in a sand pit just outside Moscow. That's they Mars. think they're in Mars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to be flying back soon, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. three years. Um, and let's have another one, please. OK, we have Brigitte on line two. Uh, Brigitte, I imagine, is it, Brigitte? Yes, it is. Good morning. Uh, out of body experience, Brigitte? Yes, I did. <laughs> Tell us about it. Ago, and, um... Well, just going back to Todd quickly, yeah. I don't think I would like to experience it more than once. Oh. Um, it was very scary. Well, it was really scary, but uh, in a funny way done. Right. I had an operation, and it was my second anaesthetic with the very short uh, dates in between. Yeah. And I was lying there coming back from my anaesthetic, back on the ward. Yeah. And uh, there was this, I was drifting in and out, and there was this girl in a distance, in a white gown, beautiful blonde hair, in a, on a bench, keep calling me, saying, if you come with me, you'll have this beautiful blonde hair. And I was drifting, flowing, in and out, backwards and forwards, and I just knew if I would give her my hand and she would take me, I'd have been gone. And Peter and... Andre would never forgive you. I can <laughs> picture the scene. Brigitte, timed out, I'm afraid. <laughs> Interesting, though. anaesthetic, very strong drug, almost bound to give you like sort of semi dream state, I would think. The blonde was just making her way to my room. <laughs> 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 and that, on that note, I think it's time to send the panel uh, for an out of studio experience. Uh, TV critic Kevin O'Sullivan is still to come. It's great to have you with us, Michael. Really pleasure. Bless you. Your pleasure. Thank you very much. Good luck with the album and the single. Thank you. Stephen Liz, thank you very much for a wicked week thank and you. a lovely lunch thank yesterday. You, Ladies you. and gents, yes. give it up for everybody. Yeah!